Uh, a lot of us have been talking about your goals this season. So I'm just wondering if what's made the difference, first of all, in front of goal. Have you now as well set yourself a goal, a goals target between now and the end of the season, given your recent form, maybe 10 gettable? What, what would that be in the team? Yeah, the difference that is, and now I am more often in the opposite box in the set pieces. Uh, before in the set pieces, I was always the last man to stop the counter attack, and now the 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 coach are giving me more confidence, putting me more in the box, so and I scoring goals, so that is good for me for the team as well, and uh, I. I didn't think too much about the targets to score 10 goals or 10 more goals. Uh, I think in all competitions, I, I have six goals. So if I can score double digits, if I, if I can score 10, so it will be very good for a defensive midfield. It's gettable on recent form, isn't it? Yes, I think so. Yes, our team score a lot of goals. And when the team score a lot of goals, uh, players like me and the other defenders, we, we we will have the chance to to score as well, so I think I can achieve this. As well as that, what do you think of the talk outside the club of winning all four trophies this season? Particularly when you see Manchester City responding to your win over West Ham the way that they did yesterday, and in the fashion that they won the Manchester derby. Ah, uh, first of all, it was really good for for us for the club to to win the Carabao Cup. Uh, the first competition possible to win in the in the season, so we we are very happy with this this win. The the way we we won the this cup was special as well for for everyone. And uh, when you you play good, when you you are ready to win one trophy, uh, I think that's normal. More for the media, everyone talk about about the for Liverpool can win four trophies, and uh, I. I'm not thinking too much about this. Uh, we 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 are thinking game game after game, because uh, it's it's really hard to to win two or three competitions or or even four. It's really hard. Uh, after the Chelsea game, uh, was hard, hard to recover because it was a really hard game. We play 120 minutes uh, and was was hard to to recover recover for the the next games. But uh, the players who play. Uh, who played against Norwich and West Ham played really well. So we, we won both games. So we are st still alive in the FA Cup and uh, in the fight in the Premier League. So we have to play game after game. Uh, of course, we, we play in a big club like Liverpool. We want to doing everything. But that's tomorrow, try to win the Inter Milan games. And then we, we have to focus uh, game after game. The 2-0 after the first leg, home advantage in Anfield as well. How dangerous though are Inter Milan still in this time? Inter Milan is a really good team. I think I, I said before, for me, in the last two, three, three years, they're, they're the best Italian side. They're, I don't know if they're first in the Serie A this, this season, but they're, they're playing a really good football. Uh, the first leg, I think uh, they the first half of, of the game, they, they played better than us. They had a good chance to score uh, a ball in the bar, a shoot in the bar. And uh, but we are more realistic in front of the goal. We scored two goals, and uh, a big thing have to to play win games like this as well. When you you don't have too many chances to score, you have to to score the the chance you have. So that's what we we did the the first game, and tomorrow we will be at. We will play at a uh, full Anfield, so the fans will be behind us. Uh, we have to try to 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 give everything, being the highest level uh, of intensity, of concentration, to not to give the confidence to them. We have to to do what we do usually at, here at Anfield to play our best football and try to to, to kill the the this game the the quick quickest as possible if you can. Okay, thank you, Herman and Chris. Hi. At this stage of the season, still be looking to get through the remaining competitions. Do you get that sort of extra push, that extra drive, that extra edge, just give that extra excitement at this stage of the season, which you can see what's ahead. It's, it's really n
in three competitions. Uh, as I said before, physically is is hard, but uh, that's good for every everyone because everyone can play, can, sh can show their their quality. Uh, some players uh, who don't really play too much uh, have the, the opportunity to play in other competitions. So that's good for the team, for for the manager. He he know he can count with uh, everything for for every game that we we have. And uh, there, there's something new for for us because uh, this was the first time that I play a cup final with uh, with Liverpool, uh, domestic cup final with Liverpool. Now I think that's the first time we, we are in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup as well. So yeah, this is something new. It is always important to to win trophies to to be in the 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 last uh, phase of the competition. So. As I said before, as well, we are Liverpool. We have to to try to win everything that that we can. And uh, yes, for for our confidence, it's always good to to play a lot of games to to be alive in in, in all the competitions. So we have to try to to be always at red physically and in the head as well to to play this game in the highest highest level possible. Hey, Chris, next, please. Uh, the day before I I tried to do a, a panenka, but I was just me and, and Luis Diaz in the without goalkeeper in the goal. So I tried to shoot like this and I, I told him tomorrow if you go to Pensa, we shoot like this. He didn't believe me, <laughs> but uh, when I, I was walking to, to to the ball to to take that penalty, I, I was in my mind that I will uh, shoot a uh, panenka. So yes, it worked. Yes, uh, when you shoot a penalty like this, you you have to know if you miss. And maybe you can go into the dress room because everyone will kill you. But I was in my mind, I was like, I will take like this and let, let's do this. <laughs> That's it. Okay, okay, Tom, please. Okay, um, a year ago today, um, the team had just lost one goal at home to four in the Nancy Stadium. So they lost in six games on one game. The turnaround in the last 12 months has been incredible. Did you think you would go looking back on that day? Did you just come back? I think you've been in you just come back into the team. Did you always have to believe that you would get back to the levels that you are at now? I remember when we lost that this game, uh, the confidence of the team was really low. Uh, wasn't the only the only game we we we, we lose at home. I think we lose uh, against Burnley as well. Uh, and uh, the moment was 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 not good, but I think after this game, the some things uh, started to change as well. I think I don't remember if the next next game was Leipzig in the Champions League, yeah. but uh, we won this game. So after this game, the things start to play better. Was a uh, change change around, and uh, this the season. Uh, took an, another turn for us uh, in that moment. And uh, since the start, the start of the season, uh, so, uh, some of the players came back uh, from injury. And uh, some of the things changed as well. I didn't play central back anymore. So this is for me, and I think for the team is good as well. And uh, in general, I don't have many injuries this season. So this is, this is good for, for everyone. And uh, at home, we, we we won almost every game. So that's important. I think when we play at home, we have always to, to play our best football to, to win every game. And uh, if you want to, to be consistently, if you want to, to fight to win the, the, the league, you have to to, to perform as your best, best football. Uh, not just at, at home, but of course, at home is, is really important. So as what we try to do and that's it. Okay, so the last two, so Paul and back. I think the squad now is stronger than the squad. 
<sighs> yes, maybe, yes, because we have more time playing together. We uh, we know with, with each other. Of course, we, we lose some players, some important players. Uh, Gino Wijnaldo he, he was a really important player who, who won the Champions League in the Premier League uh, with, with us. And we lose uh, other important players as well, Shakiri, Lovren. But I think when you you play four or five years together, we that's normal. We, we you play better. Some things is more automatic. So I think because of the time playing together, the time with the the manager and, and the staff technique, so make or uh, make us better. And you mentioned this. You Yes, he's really impressive. Uh, he has been here, I think, one month, one month and a half, and playing in a really high level. It was really important in the final as well for me. He was one of the best players in the in, in the final against Chelsea, and. Uh, I think the final was on his third game, maybe with with us. So he's really impressive. He he's really good. Uh, it's not always easy to to play in a high level when you change uh, of the of country, you change the league. Uh, he was not used for of the intensity of uh, England, but he looks like he he was playing here a long time because he he he's playing really good and. Uh, has been really impressive. Okay, final question from James from TalkSport, please. Hi, Fabinho. Trent Alexander-Arnold recorded his 16th assist at the weekend. Do you think he's changed the game when it comes to the modern fullback? Yes, uh, Trent uh, is really important for us. Not just not just with the assist, but in the game. Uh, when you have the ball, he is really important to. He always can find a, a pass in between the lines, and uh, sometimes we, we think he has he don't have solution, and he always find an important pass. And uh, uh, of course, in the last uh, part of the pitch, he he can always uh, change the game. He can always find a, an assist, and 16 assists is really impressive for a right back. And uh, we have uh, still three, four months to, to play. So this number will be high. So yes, when I see Trent play, uh, he's not, uh, uh, it's really hard to find a right back who play like this, who, who looks more like a number eight or a number 10 than a right back. But uh, I hope he will, continue to to playing like this to playing in a high level and because he can be one of the best right backs in the history maybe the best and hopefully he will keep playing like this hey guys that's us no sorry for going there thank you very much thank you